Okay, Dad, here's, uh, after taking the cover off of it, um, you can see this is the top of the little rod that controls the choke. Um, I took the switch off of it and I took the cover off of everything. This is the carburetor right here. Um, this rod right here goes down to the governor arm, which is right here. It moves back and forth as the engine speed changes. And with this arm right here, you move a mechanism that you can see is behind this plate and there's a spring that pulls against this arm when it's all the way up and what happens is as the engine comes up to speed it pushes back and closes the throttle you can see the throttle arm right here what's happening as you can tell when I let go with my finger it sticks it doesn't move smoothly at all so um, I don't know if that's all of the problem or if that's just part of the problem but I'm going to investigate what is making it stick because in order for the engine to maintain a constant speed while it's operating this thing needs to be able to move smoothly like that in all situations but for some reason it's not moving smoothly in all situations so I'm going to investigate the sticking and I'll get back to you with what I find. Okay, Dad. So in the next stage of disassembly here, uh, I wanted to separate the carburetor from the machine, which used to be connected to the throttle control assembly right here by a, by a hard steel wire. Since I didn't want to bend that wire because its length is correctly adjusted for this machine, I needed to take this off so that I wouldn't have to bend the wire to remove it. I wanted to see that the throttle assembly here moves freely and uninhibited. That there's no burr or piece of metal that it's getting stuck to or something like that. And you can see quite clearly that it moves very freely. It has a very light return spring that forces it closed. Um, so this is not what is causing the sticking as I can now see. The screw that you adjusted on the bottom here was actually the float screw, not the governor adjuster as I initially thought. Um, this uh, adjusts the level of gas inside the float bowl which um, uh, affects the, uh, the, the fuel mixture going into the machine and will definitely affect how it runs in uh, very cold weather. Um, so now I'm going to look at this mechanism here and possibly even the material that they've made this little metal wire out of as a possible friction point that might be causing the sticking. Okay dad, so what I've done here is I've replaced this little arm with a new piece of wire that I've reformed to be close to the original length. Um, this is actually the governor adjuster screw right here that adjusts the tension on a spring so that when you move the throttle lever it increases the tension gradually on that spring per the adjustment of this little screw. So if the screw is tighter, there's more tension on the spring, which means that it will it'll uh, push harder against the governor and rev to a higher speed once uh, um, once uh, the engine reaches equilibrium. So when I start it, what you'll see is it's starting with full throttle. Um, and as the engine comes up to operating speed, the governor will push back on this arm, which will close the throttle. And you can see the little throttle arm actuating up here when this gets closed. The little, the governor push itself pushes on this arm right here, which you can probably just barely see. So I'm going to start it now.
As you may have noticed, as soon as I shut it off, the throttle drifted back to the wide open position. That's because the RPMs were going down because there was no ignition spark. So that's it.